In this video, we are going to walk through the process of activating RainStream and using it to read RFID tags. First, ensure you have RainStream activated. You can check this by navigating to the reader's web user interface, or web UI. To do this, simply enter the reader's host name located on the side of the reader. In this case, we will enter http colon forward slash forward slash izar dash and the last six digits of the MAC address. Enter the username and password web and radio to access the web UI. Once you are logged in, navigate to apps and click on the RainStream tab on the left side of your screen. You will then be asked to enter the license key to activate RainStream, which you should have received from your supplier. The reader will reboot after the license key has been entered. Once the reader has rebooted, you will then be asked to log in to the web UI again. Once logged in, navigate to the Settings tab and select the Reader tab. Select the antenna port you are using by checking one of the boxes shown on the screen and select Gen 2 under the Protocols option. Click Save Reader Settings, then click OK. Now we can adjust the settings needed for RainStream. Click on the Apps tab and navigate to the RainStream tab on the left side of the screen. If you haven't already done this, click the on-off toggle switch on the right side of the screen to turn on RainStream. You can now select which fields you want to show up when you read tags. For this example, we will just select the antenna option. RainStream will automatically display the EPC and read time if you decide not to select any of these options. Next, set the trigger to immediate. If you are using any GPIO devices, such as motion sensors or buttons, set the trigger to GPI. You can set the GPI number and level based on your GPIO wiring configuration. Select which output channel you would like your tag reads to be displayed in. For this video, we will be using the keyboard wedge output channel displayed in hexadecimal format. For the keyboard wedge output, we will need a USB to micro USB cable so the reader can send the tag reads to the PC. You can also select other output channels such as TCP, IP. This is typically used if your reader is directly connected to your network and you don't have direct access to it. You can also use HTTP POST if you want the data to be transferred to a database. Click Save, and your reader will automatically start reading tags. To check this, open a program such as Notepad to view your tag reads. Since we are using the keyboard wedge as an output channel, we will need to connect the reader to the PC using the console port on the side of the reader. Connect the micro USB cable to the console port on the reader and the other end of the cable to an open USB port on your PC. You should now see the text document being populated by the tag data read by the reader. Thank you for joining us in walking through these steps of activating RainStream and reading RFID tags. For more information on all things RFID, please visit our blog or our RFID resources page. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please send us an email or give us a call.